Yeah, 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 yeah. It's super chill. Nice. Kind of like Canada. Uh, I haven't thought about it. It's like... A little bit. Depends what part of Canada. West Coast of Canada, yeah. 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 But you grew up in the East Coast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I moved to the East West, yeah. yeah. You did, though, didn't you? I did move to the West. Yeah. In high school, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I know. Um, for you guys in this team, what's been the turnaround? Uh, I mean, I think it's just been, you know, putting the pieces together and like finding a way that they fit, complementing each other's games. Um, you know, obviously, we've been moving the ball better, playing together on both ends of the floor, more connected. You know, we had a young group with um, a bunch of new pieces, and it's hard to put them together and instantly gel, right? You know, it takes a little bit of time to, for guys to figure out the games, for the coaches to figure out know how to use everybody and put everybody in position to succeed and I think it's starting to, to come together and we're starting to figure it out. Have you kind of watched the Celtics team grow over the years? Obviously there's been a lot of different changes in your life and I think your last teammate and Marcus is now gone here but how have you played with Jalen oh, and I played with Al. Yeah and Al. Yeah. What's the question? Jason came here? Yeah the year the year Jason came I left. I okay. Think. Yeah. Yeah, but what's it just been like watching the team kind of grow and evolve into what it is now since um, Yeah, I mean, they're really, really good. They've been good for you know, a long time. Um, but I think, you know, they've kind of grown into, obviously, powerhouse in the East. Um, but it's fun. I mean, it's fun to come back, fun to play in front of these fans all the time and, you know, see, see the success of teammates you had and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, obviously Boston is a special place being here. You know, when I was a rookie, getting drafted here, um, the support here has always been phenomenal and unbelievable. So uh, it's always nice to come back. And, you know. When you walk in this building and step on this floor, sorry, Bobby, what do you like? What memory comes to mind, or what do you think about? Yeah, it's kind of like a flood. You know, it's kind of just like reminiscence of you know great times and like you said, growing up. And, you know, that's when you're young and you don't know what you don't know. You know, you just hear. And, think the whole NBA is like this place, right? Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's a special place in your heart. You have fond memories of, you know, kind of building from that rookie year, you know, when we were great, and then making the playoffs, Eastern Conference Finals, everything. So, um, you know, a lot of memories, a lot of great memories, and, you know, you, it brings you back to the people, the fans, you know, the team, and then, you know, all the games. I was going to ask, what's it been like having Danny in Utah reunited with him? been amazing you know I, I love Danny obviously he drafted me um, you know he's been great for my career you know the whole time you know helping me um, so you know, I, it's just fun to, to reunite with those kind of people and um, you know share stories and um, experiences and you know it's, it's cool um, it's kind of a full circle moment when you get back Ah, he's the same guy. <laughs> he, I don't think he'll ever change. You know, he loves what he does. He loves the game. He's always positive, always happy, joking. Um, you guys know how he is. He's, he's unreal. There were some rumors that maybe talks about going back to Boston. Did you hear any of that? Talk I heard about it. Danny. Yeah. I, I, I Are mean, you I've open heard, to that. <laughs> I've, I've heard it. Um, it's kind of like whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, if you're on Utah or Boston or. Wherever you are, you know, you're putting your best foot forward and trying to help that organization succeed and, you know, accomplish their goals. So if it happens to be in Utah, then, you know, that's where all my focus is. If it happens to be somewhere else, that's where my focus will shift to. You've been through that before last yeah. year. Yeah. Free agency trade. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's a process, it's a business, and sometimes it's not a process. Sometimes it just happens. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like... Everything is pointing towards Boston, and then all of a sudden you're in Timbuktu, <laughs> wherever. Yeah, who knows? So, um, you know, you never know, and that's why you can't get too caught up in all that stuff. Um, you know, wherever you go, you want to help that team succeed and accomplish their goals, and you know that's your focus. What kind of leader are you trying to be for this reserve unit? Lead the league in scoring. We lead the league in scoring. We're second. Wow. The reserves. Oh, off the bench. Off the bench. Oh, okay. Yes. Are you trying to be, I know you have Jordan and... Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you know, my goal on this there. team is just to help these guys play good basketball, you know, play together, and, um, you know, kind of learn the game and, you know, what it takes to be successful, you know, what it takes to win. You know, obviously, you know, these guys are so young, most of them, and, you know, we have a good group of guys and we have a couple of vets, but, you know, you know, my job is to make sure that everybody's involved and, um, you know, 
know, keep everybody connected and together. I wanted to ask you about the Olympics that coming up in the summer. Canada's obviously, you know, a really good place coming off the World Cup. What just kind of stands out to you about the group of Canadian players now and, you know, what kind of you know, things you might be able to accomplish next summer? Yeah, I mean, obviously qualifying the Olympics is huge. Winning bronze medal in the World Cup is huge. Um, you know, our best finish in a long, long time. So, you know, we have a great group of guys. Um, we have a lot of talent, you know, a lot of players who are playing at a high level here on their teams, wherever they are respectively right now. Um, and we're looking forward to, you know, getting together again next summer, continuing to build what we've kind of, you know, or continue to build on what, we, what we've done. And, um, you know, I think we got a great shot to, you know, to win a medal at the Olympics. And, you know, that's our goal. It's been our goal for a long time. And, you know, to finally break through and crack through that, that barrier has been awesome. And, you know, for us, it's, it's going to be a, you know, a great summer.